Hey, what's up guys? It's Lauren. Happy New Year. I am doing a video today that is based on four different resolutions. So we have exercise, staying positive and motivated, saving money, and getting more sleep. So I have those four resolutions and then I have a DIY for each of them to help keep you motivated and get you kick-started into the new year. Let's get into it! For this first DIY project, you'll need a jar, some chalkboard tape, and some chalk. So starting off with your jar and your chalkboard tape, you're going to want to place your chalkboard tape right onto the jar. And I like to keep it on the roll so that it's smooth and just smooth out all the air bubbles. And then make sure to cut it straight after you've wrapped it all the way around the jar and this is what it should look like. And then go ahead and write down everything you are saving up for and some ideas would be food, a trip to New York, those are what I wrote, VidCon tickets, playlist live tickets, and then once you wrote down all of your goals or what you're saving up for, you can go ahead and put your money in and it feels really good because you're working towards your goals and everything, I don't know, I like it. This next DIY is to help you stay motivated and positive, so you'll need a canvas and some letter stickers. And basically you're just going to pick a short quote that would fit onto your canvas with the letter stickers that you have. I chose Think Less, Live More, and I think that this is a really simple DIY, but it will really spice up your room and keep you motivated. You could definitely decorate it more if you want, but I wanted to keep it simple. For the third resolution, I came up with these DIY eye masks. You'll need some iron-on letters, eye masks, and an iron. And basically, you're just going to follow the directions on those iron-on letters, but mine said to cut out the letters and then iron it. And then once you ironed it and let it cool, it said to peel them off, peel the little backing off, and then it will leave you with some beautiful letters and you'll have a word. Um, I chose fabulous, and then for my other one I chose sleep, which, I don't know, I think they're simple. A lot of them have them already, like I've seen eye masks like this before, but I've, I never got some, so I decided to make it. For this last resolution, we'll be making hair ties and headbands, so you'll need some elastic of your choice and a ruler and scissors. So start off by cutting the end at an angle, that way it doesn't really fray that much. And then we're going to cut our elastic between 8 to 10 inches. I chose 8, but I would probably go with 10 if I'm doing the glittery elastic. And then go ahead and cut the other end at an angle as well. And then once you're finished cutting, just fold the elastic in half and tie a knot at the end, making sure it's secure. Honestly, I didn't really like working with this glittery elastic. I liked working with the ruffle elastic that I'll show later. <laughs> Basically, the ruffle elastic didn't even fray at all while the glitter elastic did, so that's why I didn't like it. But anyways, if you wanted to make a headband, you can cut your elastic about 19 inches and it should work. And that is the end! Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video and make sure to try out all of those DIYs and let me know how they turn out. I'm definitely using like every single one of them. Like I already have the little wall art on my wall and I use the sleep mask because it helps me. Sometimes if there's like too much light, I can't sleep at all. And it's about to rain. So anyways, if you liked the exercise that I was doing, it's called size. So if you want to take the size challenge, check the link below and I'm about to get soaked. I hope you have a happy new year. I love you. Bye! I did, I just broke the chalk. Okay, I'm not even in cute pajamas.